Hey, welcome back to the channel everybody. This is Kevin and in this week's video, we want to take a look at how you can get free access to Cisco's newest network emulator. It's sort of the evolution of viral. Some people call it viral 2.0, but it's called CML Cisco Modeling Labs personal version. Now what I do is I pay the $199 yearly licensing fee so I can run it on one of my local machines and I can access it whenever I want to. I can have sessions as long as I want. But if you don't want to pay the $199, the great folks over at Cisco DevNet have made it available to you for free. What you can do is go over to the Cisco DevNet sandbox, as we're going to do in this video, and we can reserve a block of time, as long as four hours at a time, where you can get access to CML personal version, and you can set up your own topologies. It's a great way to study. It's a great way to, to lab out concepts. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor. Click like on this video and subscribe so you don't miss any of our weekly content. Now, let's take a look at how we can connect for free to Cisco Modeling Labs over at the Cisco DevNet Sandbox. I'm sitting over at the uh, Cisco DevNet Sandbox now, and the way you can get here, I've created a shortcut for you. You can go to kwtrain.com slash sandbox. And you'll be prompted to log in. And if you don't have a login, you can create a free login. But once you get logged in, you're going to see a screen much like this. And I say much like this because the fantastic folks over at Cisco DevNet, they're continually iterating and adding things to what's available in the sandbox. So this might look a bit different when you watch it. But what I want to do is I want to search for Cisco Modeling Labs. Now, at the time of this recording, they have both CML Personal and Enterprise versions available. I just want to use the Personal version. So in my browser, I'm going to do a find, and I'm going to look for the word modeling. And I find this lab that says Cisco Modeling Labs, and I need to reserve it. So let's say I want to reserve it, and we can reserve it for up to four hours at a time. Notice it's two hours by default, but I can change that if I want to, and I can bump that up to as long as four hours. Notice that is the maximum. And I'm going to start right now. So let's say reserve. And it's going to take a bit of time to do the reservation, but we have some work to do while everything is being set up. Notice we're in setup mode right now, and we're told that it could take about 10 minutes or so to get everything set up. One thing we need to do is to get secure access into the sandbox. In other words, VPN access. If you go to the VPN Access tab, notice that there is a link to download Cisco's AnyConnect VPN client software. If you don't have that, you'll want to go ahead and download that, and uh, there are instructions for getting it set up on your particular operating system. I'm personally running on macOS, and I've already got Cisco AnyConnect set up, and I'm going to be either emailed my credentials, or if you didn't say you want to get emailed your credentials when the lab is set up, you can click on this Output button up at the top, which is what I typically do so I don't have to bounce over to my email. I'll click on Output, and once it has everything set up and it has my credentials ready, they'll be listed here. And then I'll open up my Cisco AnyConnect VPN software, and using those credentials, I'll get logged in. And this is going to take a few more minutes. Right now it's estimating eight minutes to completion. So after this is set up, and after my credentials are displayed here in this window, I'm going to resume the video, and then we're going to connect using the AnyConnect software, and we're going to build our own topology using Cisco Modeling Labs. I'll see you back in a moment as soon as this setup is complete. Well, good news. The setup has completed, so we're ready to connect. And I'm given my username and password, and if we scroll down just a bit, we'll see our access credentials. I'm going to copy the VPN network name, bring up our AnyConnect software, We'll say that is our destination. We want to connect. For the password, I'll type that in. We'll say OK. And we are connected. Excellent. Now, in order to get to the CML screen, I can go to this link. So we'll click on that. It's going to open up in a separate browser tab. And what is my username? My username is developer. I'll copy and paste that. And my password is Cisco12345 with some creative capitalization and numbering. I'll paste that in. And we'll say log in. And just like that, we're in Cisco Modeling Labs. And they give us a lab by default that we can play with. 
pretty nice topology. And if you want to see details of that topology, just scroll down here and here is that topology. But the point of this video is I wanted to show you how to go out here and set up your own topology for labbing things up and studying for your exams. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Lab Manager and I'm going to turn this off. It's taking up 14 of my 20 nodes right now and I want to create my own topology. So I'm going to say Stop Lab and we'll see this number 14 count all the way down and we won't have anything started. And what I want to do is I want to add our own lab. I'm going to say Add Lab and I'll put in a name of Demo, really creative. And if I go into this demo lab, then I can drag and drop devices over into this pane. And I want to make a really simple topology. Let's get a couple of Cisco iOS virtual routers, and we'll get an unmanaged switch to sit in the middle so that doesn't take up a resource. And here's the way we can get things connected. Let me zoom in just a bit here so you can see it better. If I hover over this router, notice the little link icon here. If I click and hold that, I can drag a link over to this unmanaged switch. And then it says, what ports do you want to use? Well, on that router, I'm going to say gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0, and I'll just use the first available switch port. And for my router on the right, I'll do the same thing and say I want to use gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 connecting to port 1 on the switch. Now, I might want to rename these, so I'll click on this router and under node name, I'm going to say, I want this to be known as R1. And for the switch, I want it to be known as SW1. And for this other router, I want it to be known as R2. And now I want to start this topology up. I'll go under simulate and I'll say start lab. And you'll see the little arrows indicating that these devices are booting up. The unmanaged switch, it went active fairly quickly. We see that indicated with the green dot. And when we get green dots on our routers, we know that we can connect to them as well. Now, by the way, when we connect to them, we can use the console that is built into CML. And to do that, for example, R2, you see this little console icon? If I click that, I can open a console down at the bottom and I can resize this so I have some more real estate. But I can connect to router R2 after it boots up and do my configuration in that pane. Now, in this version of CML, there's not a tabbed interface where we can just have tabs for each of our devices. That's coming in an upcoming release, I'm told. But for now, we're just going to have to go to one device at a time if we use this built-in console. And we see things booting up there now. Let me show you what I prefer to do, though. What I would prefer to do is go to my own terminal emulator that supports Secure Shell that does have a tabbed interface, and you might have your own favorite terminal emulator. I'm just going to use the terminal program that comes built into Mac OS because it makes a great secure shell client and it can have tabbed interfaces. So let's go back to our DevNet sandbox and I want to see where I'm secure shelling. It's going to be this IP address. Let's go to my terminal and I'll say SSH and I want to go to developer at that address. And what is the password? Copy and paste the password. Press Enter. And now I'm connected to CML via this Secure Shell connection. And I can say List, and that's going to list out my nodes. And right now I've got R1 and R2. And there's a lab ID, because I can have multiple labs running at once as long as I don't exceed 20 nodes. And I've got a node ID and the lines. The zero indicates the console port and the one indicates the auxiliary port. So on a uh, managed switch, you would see just a zero because the switch doesn't have an auxiliary port. Let's say I want to connect to R1. Here's how I would do that. I would say open forward slash and I'm going to copy and paste the lab ID forward slash and for R1, that's going to be node n zero slash zero. And that's the console. So again, here's the lab, here's the node, here's the line on that node. And I'll press enter. And would I like to enter the configuration dialog? No, I would not. That'll start booting up while it's booting up. I'm going to create another tab. And in this other tab, I'm going to go to this very same secure shell connection. Now we're in. I'll say list. And I'll open up in another tab, R2. So I'll say open forward slash forward slash 
in one forward slash zero. And this is my R2 connection. No, I would not like to enter the configuration dialog. And here on R1, let's just do a really basic setup to make sure we have connectivity. I'm going to say the host name is R1. I like to do a no IP domain hyphen lookup. So if I type something incorrect, it's not going to try to resolve it with a DNS server. It just knows that it was a typo. Let's go into my console zero line and I'm going to say logging synchronous. So these syslog messages popping up on the screen, they're not going to interrupt something that I'm typing. And I usually set in a lab environment, I usually set the exact timeout to zero zero. So it doesn't time out. So what I'll do is say interface gig zero slash zero IP address 10.1.1.1 with a 30 bit subnet mask. No shutdown. Let's go over to R2. No IP domain hyphen lookup. Line console zero, exec timeout zero zero, and logging synchronous. Just sort of a set of best practice commands I almost always give when setting up a new router. Let's go into interface gigabit zero slash zero, and we'll say its IP address is 10.1.1.2 with a 30 bit subnet mask. No shutdown. Let's see if we've got connectivity. Oh, I neglected to change the router name. Let me do that really quick. I'll say hostname R2. There we go. Can I do a can I do a ping to 10.1.1.1, which is R1? It looks like we've got an issue, so we get to do a little bit of troubleshooting here. Let's do a show IP interface brief. And I assign the IP address to the wrong interface. That was my bad. Let's fix that. I'll say interface gigabit zero slash one. No IP address. Shutdown. Interface gigabit zero slash zero. IP address 10.1.1.2. 30 bit subnet mask. No shutdown. Now can I ping 10.1.1.1? Yes, I can. The first was an ARP timeout, so no concern there. The subsequent pings will all work, though. So we've got connectivity. Now let's go back here. And that was just a super simple look at how we can, for free, go lab something up using the Cisco DevNet Sandbox CML. And we could create some fairly advanced topologies like the one we see here. So if you want to play with this one, this is uh, quite extensive. But for now, we'll wrap up this video and a look at how to use Cisco Modeling Labs for free. Thanks to the great folks over at Cisco DevNet. And I'll see you in our next video.